Hey everybody, this is Austin from The Crypto Gym. I wanna do another Ethernet challenge. And in this video, we're working on token from Ethernet. Um, again, if you guys haven't done any Ethernet challenges before, be sure to check out my other videos. Be sure to give them a shot before you watch this tutorial and kind of see my thoughts on it, because even though it may be very difficult, very frustrating to do it on your own, that's where you're gonna learn the most here. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one here. So we have Open Zeppelin token. Uh, the goal of this level is for you to hack the basic token contract below. You're given 20 tokens to start, and you'll beat the level if you still manage to get your hands on any additional tokens, preferably a very large amount of tokens, things that might help. What is a odometer? So we have the contract right here, and sometimes we don't always have the contract, sometimes we just have the byte code and we have to reverse engineer it. But since we have the contract, um, what I'm gonna do is first off, let's get a new instance. Let's approve this transaction through MetaMask. Cool, so now our transaction went through and we have a new instance address. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this address. Um, actually, instead of copying that instance address, I'm gonna copy this entire contract. And I'm gonna go to Remix, and I'm gonna make a new file. We're gonna call this token.soul. By the way, you can see my other contracts here from the other video. And if you guys didn't watch the coin video, be sure to go back and watch that video. And let's paste this contract right here. And we're gonna say, okay. And we're gonna save this here. Now, the first thing that should jump out to you and that jumps out to me here is this Pragmat Solidity 0.6.0. And not just because it has a red error here, but because remember that any Pragmat Solidity below version eight may be susceptible to an underflow or an overflow, right? Before version eight, you had to import safe math, which this contract is not doing. So we could do an underflow or an overflow. So first off, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the compiler version. And I'm gonna change this to 0.6, just so we can get rid of the error. Save the contract, let's go back to here. I'm gonna go to inject provider MetaMask. Make sure that we're connected to the Sepoya network, which you should be if you got the instance. Let's go back to here, let's copy the instance address, and let's connect this contract with the instance address here. Um, I'm sorry, not there, right here. And let's load this address. So before we start sending any transactions, let's just call some transactions and let's see what can happen. So we have total supply, we have, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, 21 million tokens. Um, balance of, we have, and then we could check the balance too, right? We have, could check the balance of some of these here. The contract itself doesn't have any. So we could poke around this a little more and start try to see some balances, but really it seems pretty simple for me. We have three main functions, the constructor, a function to transfer, and a function to call the balance here. The balance seems pretty self-explanatory. We can copy an address. Let's see if we have any tokens. Let's paste that from there. We can see we have 20 tokens, just like the problem told us we would have. Um, so looking pretty good, and it's pretty congruent with what's expected from there. Now what I wanna do here is I want to try to underflow this amount. So the UINT, which is part of this mapping, which is how many tokens in a particular address has, how many tokens my address has, because we're not using SafeMath and because it's not version 0.8, we might be able to wrap around so it wraps around to the highest possible value. And that would be a lot of tokens that would be very beneficial to us. Um, so let's go ahead and try this here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to transfer. Um, the address two doesn't matter a whole lot but let's go ahead and get a different address here. Copy that, why not? And let's send it to this address here. Now we wanna send more than 20 tokens because if we only send five or 10, well, we're only gonna be left with five or 10, right? We can see that we subtract the value right here, the value that we're taking in from our balances. But what we can do, since it's going to wrap around, if we send 21, 22, 25, it's not gonna be negative five. The function isn't gonna revert. It's going to wrap around. And let me prove that to you guys right now. So for our value, let's just do 25. Let's transact. MetaMask pops up. And let's send this transaction. Cool, so the transaction went through. Now let's check our balance and see what happened. So boom, so now we have a whole lot more tokens here than we did before. So we can see how we had an underfoot that value, it kind of wrapped back around to one of the highest possible values here. Uh, I believe four less than the highest possible value of that UN. So it looks like we're doing pretty good here. Let's go back to Ethernet and let's see if we got the, um, if we can submit the instance and let's see if we did it properly. Confirm. So it looks like we went ahead and beat this challenge here. So it says overflows are very common and solidity must be checked for control statements such as if, and this says right off of the safe math uh, open Zeppelin contract. So if you're any type of solidity developer, be sure to make sure that you're not using less than 0 0.8 without importing safe math and using it as your UN. Anyways, guys, if you guys learned anything along this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video in the crypto gym. Catch you guys.